Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I thought I'd just come here to say hi and to let you guys know that this vlog is a compilation of all vlog footage. So I mentioned in my last video that I filmed a bunch of stuff and I went to a few different places to eat but never ended up editing or like posting the vlog. And I wasn't sure if you guys still wanted to see it but a few of you guys said yes. So I thought I'd just put it all in this vlog so hopefully it kind of makes sense. It's really just like a bunch of food places. But since I'm here, I thought I'll quickly do an unboxing because I just picked up the Union Cortez a few days ago and they were actually sitting at Supply and because it was there, I thought I'll just pick up a pair for retail. So these retail for 190 Australian dollars. And I got the Sesame Pink Clay colorway. I know they just dropped two new colorways, which is the Lemon Frost and Smoke Grey. Supply did do a raffle for them. And when the raffle was open, I thought I'll try. But if I didn't get a pair for retail, then I wasn't like that sad about it. But since it's just sitting at Supply, I thought I'll pick up a pair. And the only reason why why I knew that they were sitting was because I saw someone like just someone random wearing them and I thought they looked really good so I like complimented him and he was the one that mentioned like oh I just picked them up for retail yesterday because they're that supplies so I was like oh I guess I have to go <laughs> and get myself a pair as well um, so yeah I feel like they probably do have quite a few pairs and like a range of sizes still available so if you are in Melbourne, definitely hit up Supply if you're after a pair. I got these in a men's six and a half, which is half a size up from my true to size because I find that the Cortez is a little bit more on the narrow side. So even though I do have some room like lengthwise, like there is a room, there is a room, there is a bit of room like in the toe box for me, like lengthwise, I thought like just get six and a half anyway. Anyway, all my shoes are like all over the place in terms of sizing. Um, but yeah, I quickly wanted to show you guys because I feel like these look pretty good. And I was like sold when I saw it on feet um, on someone else for some reason. So yeah, I'm really happy that I picked these up. And of course, Nike is celebrating their 50th anniversary for the Cortez silhouette. And they've collaborated with Union to come up with this colorway. And I really love the canvas texture on the sneaker. And there's like a mix of suede as well. And of course, you can see the Union branding over here, just like all their collabs. There is that little Union tag. And I actually cannot wait to put some fits together with this. You can also see that is the creator foam on the sneaker. And with the insoles, you can see there's also like this cork co-branded insoles. So yeah, very happy that I picked this up for retail. Cannot complain. I guess that's all I want to say. This is a very like brief, quick unboxing. Um, at some stage, I will have some on feet. Maybe in my next vlog, I'll show you guys and put like a fit together. I know I have not been on point with like the fits and the unboxing. So I'm very sorry, but I appreciate you guys for still watching my content. I'm trying to get back on my unboxing wave because I still do pick up quite a lot of sneakers and I just haven't unboxed them. And then I feel bad that I've bought all the sneakers and I just wear them and not unbox them. Hopefully I'm making some sort of sense. Um, you guys know that the Travis Lowe's just dropped recently. Um, you know, I like to be optimistic <laughs> when it comes to sneakers like that. But deep down, we all know we're gonna cop that L. Same goes with like the Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones, you know, I was just dreaming. But obviously, I don't have either of them. But anyway, let's get on with this vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah, enjoy the vlog. <laughs> Oh, 
How come my tongue tastes anything? It's good! Okay, we're getting it. <laughs> I bought this little Chotomoto crispy chili chocolate. Packaging's so cute, so I'm about to try it. Apparently it's not that spicy. I think that's just like the tiniest bit of chili. And I think because I've like tried so many other chili, and I can't taste any heat, but it's really young. So this is what I got today. I wanted a range of like hot sauces from like something not that spicy to like a super spicy one. And I've been meaning to try this Mike's Hot Honey and I tried some here. It was so good. Why is this the first time that I'm trying this? Very excited to have this tonight. I'm gonna have some fried chicken. This one here is what they make in-house. This is so yummy and it's not too spicy either. So I feel like this can be my everyday hot sauce. This one here is the Honey Badger one. Um, it's a little spicier, but nothing too crazy. And then this one is like the spicy, spicy one, which you guys saw before that I tried. It's actually not that bad. I am now in Keraton. I've actually been here a few weeks ago, but I didn't vlog it. I think you guys saw it on Instagram. It was so good. Sorry, I'm very loud. <laughs> and that is why I'm back. So I actually got a one liter thing of ice cream that I'm gonna take home. But I also got this little thing which is called a Philo Politan. That's like ube and biscuit crumbs and it sounds so good. So I'm gonna try it. Mm. Sorry, I got very distracted from eating that before, but I wanna tell you guys that this place is a Filipino inspired ice cream joint and the last time I came here, I had the ube taron and also like a pandan flavored ice cream. Everything is amazing. Like you guys have to come here. It is in food spray though. It's a bit out of the way for me, but I'm so happy that I'm here again today. And I told you guys, I got like this, like one liter thing. Why does it look so small? Anyway, <laughs> probably gonna eat this way too quickly. So I'll show you guys when I get home. They do have some specials as well. So today they have like this chicken waffle thing which sounds pretty interesting. So this is the chicken waffles ice cream. And you see that on top, guys, that is chicken skin. I feel like the sweet salty combination definitely works though. I'm gonna get some fried chicken later at Bell's so that I can have my hot sauce together with it. Okay, I'm very excited. Is this a food vlog again? I think so. So yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. I was going to eat my dinner and I realized I haven't showed you guys. So I went to Bell's and I got, wait, my hot sauce is in the way. I got the Sex Panther level, which is like not on the menu. It's like supposed to be super, super hot. It's this one over here. Um, we also got some donuts just in case it's too spicy. So these are chicken tenders. And then I also got some mac and cheese. Just chips. I think that one's not super spicy. But yeah, I'm actually a little bit scared to try this because this is the off-menu spice level. And we're also gonna do like extra hot sauce. Like look at this. I don't know whether I'm prepared for this today, guys, but we will see. I'm about to try the Sex Panther Bell's Hot Chicken. So apparently this is super, super, super spicy. So I haven't put any extra hot sauce on there. Um, I have tried all the other hot sauces that we got. Tastes so good, but this apparently is very spicy. I'm a little bit worried because I don't know if I'm like mentally prepared for this. Maybe you guys might see me dying a little, but let's try. Maybe it takes a while to kick in. I feel okay. I feel okay. What? Did they give me the wrong thing? Why is this not spicy? Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Let me try again. <laughs> I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try another piece. But I feel like the more you eat it, the spicier it gets. Okay, I feel like something's happening now, slowly. So if I keep eating, I'll be fine. But once I stop, I can feel something lingering. It's a bit spicy now, not gonna lie. <laughs> I was acting like it's not spicy before. <laughs> I'm actually dying a little. So I have my ice cream. I need to eat my ice cream. I'm like tearing. <laughs> We 
We are now at a place called Pie Thief and we've got some pies. This is the pie of the week and it is called Chicken Cotton Bleu. So there's chicken, ham and Swiss cheese. And this one is the steak and cheese. So I want to show you guys the steak and cheese one. It looks so good. Hopefully I don't make a mess. I think I need some tomato sauce, but it's yum. I feel like I was here just a week ago, but when you're watching this, it's probably just a few clips ago, but we're back at Carrotton. Look at this. So I got the Tehran ice cream in the bun. Look at how good this looks. So the Tehran is banana. Wait, I write it on screen, but it's like banana jackfruit. Like everything about this is so good. So I've been here like three times now and I always get Tehran flavor. And then we also got two other scoops in a cup. But I just wanted to quickly show you guys this before I eat it. You guys have to get the Tehran if you're here. You just have to. It has to be one of the flavors that you get. As always, my camera is kind of dying, guys. But I want to show you the other two scoops of ice cream that we got. So purple one is ube, and then this one is cocoa pie, which is like a coconut ice cream. Let's try it quickly. And then I'm going to eat this because it's melting. Mm. Okay, so good. Good morning, guys. So I'm having a little hoji cha. It's a little bit noisy. Hopefully you can hear me. But I'm having a little hoji cha at Hikari and across Hikari. That's a hype DC. And I have to show you guys something. Hopefully you can see. But look at this. Look at, oh my god, this van. Look at this window display. That's me. <laughs> I haven't really vlogged the whole thing. So the shoot happened maybe over a month ago. And yeah, it's really weird to see like a printout of me at the stores. But when Hype DC opens, I'll definitely take you guys along. And we can look at the little, I don't know, the decal or like the poster. So I don't know whether you guys can see in the background, it's like a big print out of me <laughs> and then there's also there's also like these tiny little photos over here i want to bring you guys inside the store as well isn't that so weird why am i here <laughs> why, why, why? might not be very clear but this is probably my favorite photo from the shoot so we shot it at a restaurant called Chotomoto and they used the space. In the campaign, the guy was wearing these like 2002R. I love these so much. These actually kind of remind me of... There's like a collab. A New Balance collab. Packer? The shoe I was thinking of is the colorway of the Packer 992 that released a while ago. And this kind of reminds me of it. I'm wearing my coarse North Face Nazi jacket. I don't think I've ever showed you guys after I unboxed it and tried it on very quickly. But I've been wearing it a lot. I really like it. And today we're going to go to some dessert like bakery spots. So we're going to go to Beatrix first. right now so I got my little hood on for my jacket you guys saw all the cakes and all the sweets in Beatrix before at the moment it's just takeaway so I guess we'll eat it in the car or something I don't know I'm ready <laughs> also how funny does this look I don't know how I feel about it ah my camera's getting wet you guys can see how wet the box is because it started pouring I want to show you guys what we got. So that's a carrot cake, Japanese cotton something cheesecake, and this cookie. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's massive. Let me show you. Maybe you can see how huge this is. A bit of the cheesecake got on the cookie. Look at how big this cookie is, guys. Look at this. <laughs> mm. This is a macadamia white chocolate chip cookie. How can you go wrong? I really want to try the cake as well, but they didn't have any cutleries. 
and I didn't bring any cutlery so hopefully at the next spot I can maybe get a little fork so that we can eat this but for now I just had the cookie it's delicious that I want to show you guys more sweets that I picked up so we went to Raya I'm pretty sure I showed you guys in a vlog a long time ago but I ended up getting the pandan chiffon as well as this carrot cake or carrot cake cookie thing I can't remember the exact name but it sounds really good I've eaten far too much sweets today and then from Beatrix I showed you guys earlier today that we got a cookie as well as two cakes and this is what <laughs> it looks like right now the cotton cheesecake is so so good and I wish I actually got more stuff from them So I guess I have to go back. But anyway besides the sweets. I have two parcels to show you guys So this one here is something that I picked up from highs and lows and this was just like a random Purchase I think I was just bored and I was looking at their site. I really didn't need anything from their store But I thought I'll just quickly unbox it. So I got it from Highs and Lows, which is a store in Perth I actually visited the store years ago when I went to Perth. I can't actually remember when But I definitely hit up the store and it was really really cool They recently did an A6 collab and it looks so good and I didn't cop a pair. What was I doing guys? Sleeping. That was what I was doing. Anyway, from highs and lows, I picked up a body wash. This one here, look at this. Another thing that I got is, look at this. So it is a Thermos Neighborhood Collab. And it is a little mug, so they actually had an actual like thermos flask But I was thinking like I'm not out here trying to go camping so I don't really need that But I thought you can never have too many mugs or at least that is what I think so So this is what I got, wait look at this, it's kind of cute right? So recently, wait let me show you my other mug This is my other like neighborhood cup thing that I showed you guys a while ago. I got this from N randomly. So I thought they'll be kind of cute together. And then recently I went to supply, got this vape mug, quite cute. And then at the back, wait, it's not there. You can't really see my human made mug is there. And yeah, apparently I really like mugs. And the next parcel that I want to show you guys, I was not expecting it to be so big. Look at this. Why is it so big? It says fragile on it. It already came like super beat up. So I don't really know what's going on there. I feel like someone like stepped in it. I hope this is not a very awkward angle. But... Wait. I'm not... Okay, wait. <laughs> I have it the wrong way around. Okay, this way. So I caught this on the Joe Fresh Goods website when they dropped maybe last week and the retail was a little bit high i can't remember how much i ended up paying maybe wait let me check the receipt i think there should be a price here so all together i paid 445 us dollars so <laughs> it's a little bit expensive and I got it in size small so I really hope I got the right size because I don't want it to be too small and of course I don't have any like Joe Fresh Goods apparel or maybe it's just New Balance apparel sizing so we'll find out oh my god no wonder they shipped in such a big box look at this cute the colorway is so cute 
Okay, I'm so happy right now. Look at this! And look at the back. How good does this look? The colorway is super on point. And look at the details on the jacket. The quality looks so good. The sleeves, um, it's leather. I think it's leather anyway. Feels like it. And then on the inside, it is like quilted. So obviously, this is just like Joe Fresh Goods. Joe Fresh Goods line, not like a New Balance apparel, I don't think. This is so cute. Okay, let's try it on. Is it too small or not? I can't tell. Do we like it? I think we like it. How cute is this? I'm so happy. Okay, I'm happy that I copped. Um, I think sizing is true to size. Like it feels a little bit tight around the sleeves maybe, but I think maybe it's the material as well. And because it's quilted and it's lined, it'll keep you really warm. But at the same time, um, yeah, I think I went for the right size because they did start from extra small and I don't know what the largest size is. Generally, when I'm in doubt, I always do men's medium, but because it starts extra small, I just assumed that medium might be a little bit big. I hope I'm making sense. Okay, I think it just fits true to size, guys, because this is what the small looks like, if you're wondering. The back, my unprofessional bureau, look at this. Look at this, okay. I'm so happy, so I definitely need to get the sneakers now, um, so we'll see. And by the way guys, I actually have so many things to unbox to show you guys, but I haven't done it, so I'm very sorry. I have like my banana dumps, which I haven't even taken out of the box. I have the, wait, wait, quickly, one second. I have the Travis Amex ones, but I haven't, Again, done a proper unboxing or I haven't worn them because I feel like I can't wear them unless I've done an unboxing video. So they're just sitting there. Anyway, guys, I think we're going out for dinner later. I'm not too sure. I'm actually so full from eating sweets all day. And I kind of want to try this like pandan chiffon cake, but I've also eaten so much. Okay, we'll have one bite. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm. Hey guys, so it is another day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the train, obviously you guys can tell it's pretty empty, that's why I'm vlogging, but I'm with Lawrence and today we're going to... You guys? <laughs> Again! <laughs> um, it is a Sunday today and they have this pork katsu sandwich that they're only serving this weekend, so I really want to try it and that is why we are going. So this is the pork katsu sandwich. Look at how good it looks. Look at this. And then we also got, look how cute, banana and Lawrence. So we also got the fried chicken, which is this one over here, and the Reuben, and of course some coffee. And I didn't show you guys, I got, oh, this, this looks a little dirty, but I got this new Prada coffee mug. So good. <laughs> good morning, guys. So I'm at Hector's again, and I feel like I just showed you guys in the last vlog the sandwich, but I'm here again. I really wanted to try the sweets that they started making at Hector's. So I got the apple fritter, I think that's like a brown butter tart maybe. And then this one here is a donut with sour plum filling. But yeah, I'm so excited to try this. But I thought I'll have a substantial breakfast before I start eating sweets today. And then we're also gonna go to Beatrix because we really want to try the cheesecake. And when we went there last week, we didn't get it. So we have to get it today. So hopefully it's not sold out by the time we get there. So it's like 10 o'clock now. So I gotta eat this quickly. And then we will go. Mm. Mm. 
it is time to try some of the sweets. I'm actually not done with this, but I'm too excited. Ah, my hair. I'm gonna try the apple fritter first. This one is the brown butter. It's hot, I'm pretty sure. This is good. It's very buttery. I like it. This is probably the messiest one, but this is the one with the sour plum chili. Why is it not open? Why am I here? So today is Sunday. So I was very excited for this cheesecake. But for some reason I thought they'll be open today. But the sign says it's not open on Sundays and Mondays. But if you guys are wondering, Beatrix is here. This is what it looks like. I came here last week or two weeks ago. Can't remember if I vlogged it. It's probably in the same vlog actually. So the last few clips you guys would have seen some of the cakes and it was so good. And I'm back here for the cheesecake, but I guess not today. So I guess I'll find somewhere else to go get some cakes and sweets and just eat more food. <laughs> so we're now at Candied Bakery and we got some goods. Look at this. I actually wanted to buy everything, but we only got these. <laughs> Which is still a lot. This one over here is a carrot cake. This is some sort of pastry that I don't really remember, but it looks super good. Hold on, let me see if I can show you guys. Because it kind of just looks like a donut from top. But look at that. Maybe that's creme patissiere. I don't know. This one, look at how thick this cinnamon roll is. I'm here for it. This is the Tres Leches cake. And of course, I had to get cheesecake. So I realized there isn't an outro to this vlog so I'm here to say thank you so much for watching and if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'm trying to think what my next video is gonna be but I'm not sure what have I picked up recently oh I actually ended up buying the New Balance 9060 in the sea salt colorway um, from the New Balance website when they dropped it and I'm still waiting for it to be like shipped to me so I guess I'll unbox that because I really do like that silhouette I know it's like a love or hate for some people because it is quite like a chunky silhouette but they're so comfortable guys and I feel like New Balance is probably gonna drop them in a bunch of different colorways this year but I thought I would pick up the sea salt colorway anyway you guys know that i have the two joe fresh goods colorway that released this year so um i thought i'd go for the sea salt too so i will show you guys that in my next video maybe make a video about the 906 but just so if you guys are interested in that silhouette you can go watch that video but anyway okay i just came here to say bye so before i keep rambling on uh thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys really really soon bye